hello friends in this video we are going to install git in windows so there are simple steps that we are going to take to install git in windows uh, so i will also mention these steps in notepad so first step is to uh, open the website this website git-scm.com slash download so this is the url that we are going to open uh, to installing the git open website and this is the url that we need to install and after that uh, see this is my windows laptop i will uh, click on windows and after that uh, there are the options available here uh, see uh, 64 bit uh, i will cancel we'll start again first of all see these are the available option 32 bit 64 bit windows and and portable versions also so uh, what I'm going to do in my Windows laptop, I am going to check whether my uh, uh, laptop is 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, For that, I will search computer here and will right click on computer icon and will check its properties. And it is 64-bit operating system. So for 64-bit, I am going to install the 64-bit Git Windows setup. Okay. So I'm uh, going to click on the 64-bit Git for Windows setup. So it will take only few minutes, uh, uh, even for few seconds. Uh, see, my net speed is uh, fast, so that's why it will only just take few seconds. So you may uh, require to wait for a few minutes at your end. So after the installation, we will continue the process here. You can see the installation is going on. It's the exe file that is required for the Windows installation. Okay, so it is done. So I will open this one in downloads see it has been installed so i'm going to install it now it has been downloaded so i'm going to start it now i'm going to click on run now see uh, just we are required to click on yes and we'll follow the instructions okay we will uh, read all this and click on next end of terms and conditions after reading you can click on next and this is the space where uh, this path where you want to install so it's my path is see profile git so i will accept this path and just click on next uh, you uh, see default uh, settings uh, are fine for installing the git so you need not to do anything else just click keep on clicking on next 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 okay so after that git will get installed uh, see it will take a few minutes now okay to install the git in our windows laptop after that we can able to run it as well okay so uh, like i have mentioned uh, like you can select uh, out of these two options and so next thing is to select the option you want to select try to git and or 64 bit uh, it depends upon your system okay. so after that uh, we have simply uh, download simply install it okay. so by choosing path so only two seconds it will take So it has been done uh, we can launch git back from here and click on finish and see here the panel has been open you can see and we can run the git command now here git and you can see git has been running now okay you can also search here git bash uh, git bash you can also search here if you will search here you can find it here as well you can also run from here okay so here you can change the path as well like uh, if you want to change cd desktop uh, so it will go to your desktop folder here you can see it reaches the desktop folder and uh, you can run your desktop files so suppose uh, if there is one folder located like uh, here i will create one
okay so uh, here uh, if we want uh, we can create here one folder uh, here i can create the project folder and i want to run uh, the git for this folder so i will simply right click in this folder and do git bash here then see here i have reached inside this folder directly by doing git bash here by right clicking and doing git, git bash here see here the path uh, it's in f uh, it's in f drive under f drive there is the project folder so i can run my git commands here inside this folder so there is, this is the direct way to go inside the folder and run your git commands run your git bash okay right click and just simply do git bash here okay uh, then we can reach inside the folder so you can try this one at your end and i hope it's clear to you uh, it's all have a nice time goodbye